Hi guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome to the Education Matrix channel, where we talk about exotic currencies, profits, and low-cost investments, mostly the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam dong. We report on the news that can affect the profits of said exotic currencies. However, for the past nine months, the channel has continued to report on Iraq not being able to form a government, and things have gotten worse. The global news networks are openly asking questions no one wanted to previously talk about. The question of could Iraq slide into a civil war? Now here is the latest news surrounding al-Sadar supporters camping out in the parliament building in the heavily guarded green zone. But first, I need to go back and share what sparked al Sadar's emotional anger. There was a leaked audio tape between Maliki, a previous prime minister of Iraq, and his inner circle. Now, the channel did not bring this leaked audio incident to your attention because it had nothing to do with the Iraqi dinar exchange rate. However, I may have made a mistake in not sharing this information. An allegedly leaked recording of the former prime minister, Maliki, was made public. In the recording, Maliki made negative and personal attack comments about al Sadar, which upset al Sadar's followers. In the recording, the former prime minister claims Mr. al Sadar is backed by foreign powers and accuses al Sadar of a kidnapping and murder campaign across Iraq during years of sectarian violence after the 2003 U.S.-led invasion. He also called al-Sadar names and talked about his level of intelligence. Of course, the leak recordings made the popular political clergy angry. But more importantly, as investors, you want to understand that even though Iraq is experiencing high, high oil revenues each month, the overflow of this income is not yet felt by the people because there has been no functioning government for nine months. Programs that help the poor are not funded. Money is not flowing and people are afraid to spend money. Take a look and a listen at what the major, one of the major news outlets reported. This is a city divided not just by the Tigris River, but also by its political loyalties. Iraq hasn't had a functioning government for nine months. It's affected every aspect of life for millions of people here. Some of those are part of the minority Sunnis who mainly live in the central neighborhood of the capital known as Adamiya. 33-year-old Mustafa Assad says his shop has been badly affected by the recent demonstrations and political upheaval. Three quarters of people are not buying anything here. The streets are empty. It reminds me of the days of the curfew during the pandemic. It's very bad. 80% of the businesses have been affected. Many come from different regions to find work in the northern province of Erbil, which is home to Iraq's Kurdish minority. They are also feeling the effects of what they say is an ineffective central government in Baghdad. I came here from Kirkuk to work as a taxi driver. The situation in Baghdad is scary, especially after nine months or so with no government formed. Back on the streets of the capital, signs of neglect and lack of public spending are visible. Despite the state making huge profits through oil sales, $11.5 billion last month alone, no budget was passed this year meaning most of the surplus cannot be spent on those who need it most. 